Okay, so we're going to factorise fully these expressions. So that's telling us that we've got to look for common factors. So we look at 4y squared and 18. Well, there are no y's in both terms, so we can't factorise out, out a letter. But we look at the 4 and the 18, and we can see that both of them have a highest common factor of 2. So that means we're going to have 2 and a bracket. Factorise tells me to put things back into a bracket. Um, so I halve 4y squared. And when I halve that, 4 halved is 2. I'm not, not uh, dividing the y squared by anything, so it'll be 2y squared. So the front of the bracket will have 2y squared in it. And then when I halve 18, it's 9. So the end of this bracket will have 9. And we were having a negative in there, a takeaway, so we've got the takeaway in there as well. We check by expanding, because the opposite of factorising is expanding. So we've got 2. And we're times in by 2y squared, take away 9. So 2 times 2y squared is 4y squared. 2 times negative 9 is negative 18. So we've got 4y squared and we've got take away 18. So 4y squared, take away 18. So our check works. So our answer will be 2 bracket, 2y squared, take away 9. Got to factorise these. So again, we're looking for common factors. Um, because both terms have a common factor, it's going to be a single bracket factorization. So we jot a single bracket down, and outside the bracket is going to be the highest common factor of these two terms. So we look at the number parts first. So we've got 8 and 10, so the highest common factor of 8 and 10 is 2. Uh, 2 goes into 8, and 2 goes into 10. Um, no other, I mean, put the factor of 8, for example, with 4, but 4 doesn't go to 10, so 2 is going to be the highest common factor. Then we look at the letters t squared and t. Well, we've got to remember that t squared means t times t. So there is a t in both. That can be taken out. So we're going to have 2t here. So basically then, we're looking at dividing 8t squared by 2t. And we're looking at dividing 10t by 2t to see what's left. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. t squared divided by t. Well, we've got to remember that t is t to the power of 1. When we're dividing with powers, we take away the powers. So 2 take away 1 is um, two, uh, 2 take away 1 is 1. So that means that's cancelled with that to leave t. So we've got a 4 and a t left from that one. 10 divided by 2 is 5. t divided by t is 1. 5 times 1 is 5. So the t's cancel, and the 10 and the 2's cancel to 5. So inside the bracket here, we're going to have 4t, and we're going to have 5. Uh, the question said add, so we're going to have add there. Again, we check. So we've got 2t, uh, we're multiplying by 4t and plus 5. So we've got 2 times 4, which is 8. t times t, which is t squared. 2 times 5, which is 10. And we've got a t, 10t. So 8t squared, 10t. So the answer here, 2t, 4t plus 5. So that's a quick summary of how we factorise expressions into single brackets.